I moved into this house about four years ago, and one thing that always bothered me ever since I first moved in was this coat closet that I, you see me taking apart right now. Um, in the opening, there was a dual glass mirror door into this really small closet that had old carpet in it, and it just made no sense. Obviously, one of the doors was broken because the door swings right into it, and it only took like not that long for me to break one of them. Uh, so I've I always wanted this out of the house, and one day I actually did it. So here it is, just completely gone finally. And then I got a bunch of cedar from my fence company's shop. My brother Jake and I own a fence company, so we have a lot of cedar wood laying around, left over from fences that we had too much material for. So I got this for like virtually free, which is kind of cool. I would honestly recommend having like some handy thing going on just to have free material around for your own house, to be completely honest. But I pretty much just outlined what I wanted and with the two by fours and then covered it with fence pickets. So here I'm building just a hall tree with like a seat on it and some storage up top. Very simple design. But it's pretty much, all it is is two by fours and fence pickets. So you can see this two by four frame that I built for the seat that I pre-made and then just anchored into the studs, super easy. And built this little box to support the one side that was not being supported by one of the two walls. And then obviously covered those with fence pickets. So I pretty much just mimicked exactly what I did for the seat. I um, covered everything with fence pickets and then built a little frame beforehand and then just screwed the two by four right into the two by fours that are on the wall and anchored two by fours to the ceiling on top of the drywall. And then I built another little box just to support the one side that was not being held up by a wall and just to kind of keep a cohesive look. And I just screwed in the box to the wood that's anchored to the drywall. Covered the ceiling and the walls with fence pickets and then did some trim work. And it was pretty much done. The cedar is a rough cut and roughs on uh, so it's unsanded, but after you sand this wood a lot and coat it with like an oil or a polyurethane or something, one of the most beautiful woods you can find. You got to be careful with it and it splits easily, but it really just looks awesome in my opinion. So this is August 2023 where I did this initial build. So... That's pretty much it here in August, and I put some hooks on it, and we've gotten some wear out of it since. So this is what it looks like then, and here in January 2024, when I'm editing this video, this is how it's looking. So we definitely use it a lot. It's definitely helped our hallway feel a lot more open and inviting, because it is the very first thing you see when you walk into our house. So I'm really thrilled with the outcome of this project and I really appreciate you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe to this channel to see me and my twin brother make more cool stuff.